These bad boys are going to go up here on the vise, because why not? Good place to preheat. Got our wife approved melting spoon. Pennies. Let's try all of them. Why not? The last batch of pennies. Stirring nail. Precision instrument. The surface of the pennies begins to brass over right as they melt. It's pretty cool. You get the copper and the zinc mixing together. A little bit of copper scrap here. We just scrape off and discard. And I forgot to preheat the mold, so we'll do that. Mmm, zinc fumes. Don't breathe those. Okay. This is not much penny. Let's see what we get here. We'll just dump it on in. Bloop. Yeah, okay. Looks alright. Didn't pour very evenly. This one should be a little bit less touchy about specific dimensions. The last one was super touchy in that if you scratched up any of the mating surfaces it would never work again. Well, that released well. Released really, really well. There's our zinc doodad. You probably can't see that, but, you know, whatever. Shiny zinc, silvery shiny. And now to get this off of here, I'm going to try to put it in the vise and just give it a tap from the other side. It is quite hot right now, owing to the blowtorch and all. Alright, I, I want to just give this a little tap, and I want it to just come right out. We'll see. Not as easy as I would like, but totally functional. So that is out. Drop our little zinky bit there. Normally you'd be wearing gloves or have two pair of pliers or, you know, other smart type things right now, but I don't have that. So that is lovely. We have a nice little zinky bit there. Ready to be chucked up on your ring mandrel and turned into a shiny ring. There it is. Got a nice finish. It's still incredibly hot, so there's that to deal with. Quite shiny. The zinc, when it comes out, is really, really shiny. Uh, and it shines up nicely. Here's this 500 degree piece of aluminum. One degree taper, turned into the end. Half inch straight, one inch taper. Here's this little cuppy thing. Also still 500 degrees-ish, <laughs> probably three or 400. Little one degree taper in the end there. One degree taper on this side. Separates well, though I wish it would come off of the central part a little bit easier, but it worked just fine. No actual complaints. All I have to do is use stock that's bigger than a half inch and uh, taper it all the way up and the zinc piece would release just fine. So, there it is.